Patrick Montgomery was in court. Jonathan Manapa will stay in federal custody. No, I don't take responsibility at all. Everyone, welcome to the show. A 29-year-old Pennsylvania resident, Jordan Mink, posted a photo on Instagram on November 3rd of 2020. In it, he was holding a gun and it had a sticker on it that said, I voted. So Mink captioned that image with, quote, the ballot is stronger than the bullet. Well, my magazines will be fully loaded just in case it's not. And on January 6th, Mink was seen on video. He was using a baseball bat to smash in a window that leads to a Senate room in the Capitol. He climbed in, he pulled out chairs, he was handing them out to others in the mob. They used them as weapons. Um, Others then followed Mink into the building. They climbed in through the window that he broke and they also handed out makeshift weapons to the crowd. Mink climbed back out onto the window ledge and he tried to smash another window pane but he failed. His, he tried to use his bat to break it. it. It just didn't work. So from there, Mink moved over to the lower West Terrace Tunnel. Um, he spat on officers who were guarding the tunnel, and then he was seen throwing multiple objects at them, including a large traffic cone, um, another large object that they said looked like a drawer, and then he threw a stick at them. Then Mink found a pole, and he started striking the officers with that pole, Eventually, he stopped and he left the Capitol grounds. So Mink was arrested on January 19th of 2021. And in a superseding indictment, he was charged with obstructing an official proceeding, theft of government property, destruction of government property, entering a restricted building or grounds with a deadly or dangerous weapon, disorderly conduct on Capitol grounds, physical violence on Capitol grounds, parading or demonstrating on Capitol grounds, civil disorder and two counts of assaulting officers, one of which included an enhancement for use of a dangerous weapon. In January of 2023, Mink pleaded guilty to one charge of assaulting officers with a dangerous weapon, as well as theft of government property. So he was facing up to 20 years in prison, three years of probation and 250,000 in fines. However, the prosecutor asked for only 64 months in prison, three years of probation and 2000 in restitution. And Mink has quite a criminal history at 29 years old. Uh, Mink has been arrested and convicted of crime since he was 15. His most recent conviction was prior to this case. It was in October of 2020. So just before the Capitol attack, Mink's crimes include multiple disorderly conduct convictions, criminal trespass, Um, Various drug charges, including two DUIs, one of which shows that Mink had the highest rate of alcohol possible, the highest blood rate. Um, Unfortunately, they just kept giving this guy more and more chances. His sentences were basically just fines and probation. Uh, They gave him one six-month punishment program. I mean, I just can't figure out why he keeps committing crimes. Can you? So this is one of those so-called political prisoners that Republican Congress members keep boo-hoo-hooing about and, you know, wa- saying that they need to be released. This is who they want to release into society because Mink has been in jail since his arrest due to his violence. So U.S. District Judge Randolph Moss presided over Mink's case, and there's no publicly available information about what was said at the sentencing hearing But Mink was sentenced to 51 months in prison, three years of probation, and $2,000 in restitution. I assume he'll receive credit for time served, so basically he's more than halfway into the sentence. You know, luckily, even if they let him out early, he's going to be on probation during the 2024 election. That's the one silver lining, Um, you know, and with with what all is going on with Trump right now, it's a good thing that people like this are, are currently locked up. So overall, a decent sentence. He should have received the full 64 months. With his criminal history, that was a no-brainer. So this judge gave him a break. Don't know why they keep doing that. Anyway, guys, I will let you know when I hear more. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Please like, please share, and subscribe. Please donate. I love you guys. Take care, and I'll talk with you soon. 